what I worry about is um, uh, are the situations in which uh, gender as a norm um, uh, is exercised coercively. That is to say, uh, there's a story um, that came out around, uh, I don't know, eight years ago of a young man who lived in Maine and he walked down the street of his small town where he had lived his entire life. And he walks uh, with what we call a swish, a kind of uh, his hips move back and forth in a feminine way. And as he grew older, 14, 15, 16, that swish, that walk became more pronounced, okay? And it was more dramatically feminine. And he started to be harassed by the boys in the town. And soon two or three boys uh, stopped his walk. And they fought with him. And they ended up throwing him over a bridge. And they killed him. Okay. So then we have to ask, why uh, would someone be killed for the way they walk? Well, why would that walk be so upsetting to those other boys that they would feel that they must negate this person? They must expunge the trace of this person. They must stop that walk no matter what. They must, uh, they must uh, 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 eradicate the possibility of that person ever walking again. Uh, it seems to me uh, that uh, we are talking about uh, an extremely deep uh, panic or fear, an anxiety that pertains to gender norms. And uh, if someone says uh, you must comply with uh, the norm of masculinity, otherwise uh, you will die, or I kill you now because you do not comply, then uh, we have to uh, start to question um, what the relation is between uh, complying with gender and coercion.